Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today we'll be cooking Chinese ginger wine chicken misua or in Chinese we call it jiang jiu ji mian xian. So let's start cooking. Let's prepare the chicken stock first. In a pot I have 3 liters of water, 1.5 kilogram of chicken feet which I have blanched and washed. I'm adding 50 grams of old ginger. I smash them up a little bit so as to release the flavor. 2 whole bobs of garlic. 1 tablespoon of white pepper. Put them into the soup too. I'll be adding in the brine from 2 cans of button mushroom. Let's cover up the lid and let it boil for 45 to 1 hour's time to get all the flavour out. See you back in an hour's time. In a cold pan, add in 1 tablespoon of sesame seed oil. We're going to fry the chicken now. Now we don't really have to wait for the oil to heat up. We're just going to put in 100 grams of ginger grated. I'm using a non-stick pan over here. That's the reason why I don't have to use a lot of oil. Fry them around until you can smell the fragrance coming out from it. Now you don't have to really fry them until dry. I just want the fragrance out. Now you can smell the sesame seed oil as well as the aroma of the ginger. Just do this for another 10-15 seconds. This dish is superb on a cold night. Or you can even use this dish for a woman on confinement. Okay, once you have smell the aroma coming out, it's time to put in the chicken. I have with me over here one whole chicken. It's approximately 1.2 to 1.3 kilograms. Cut them into big pieces and I'm going to fry them together with the ginger. Fry them on medium heat. Cut the skin a little bit. Mix them up well. If you are making this dish, I will advise you to use fresh chicken because it tastes so much sweeter and better. But if you want to use it for roasting, stewing, it's okay if you want to use frozen chicken for that purposes. Basically, it's a taste that is different. Fresh chicken is always sweeter, especially when you want to do a soup-based dish. Normally, I will stock up frozen chicken at home also because at times when I'm too lazy to go out for dinner, I'll just do a quick stew using the frozen chicken. It can be sesame oil chicken or any other stew that I want to use it for. As long as it's not soup based. Put until the skin is a little bit charred. I don't want to see too much redness on the meat right now. It smells really good. Right, when you see most of the meat has actually turned quite like this breast meat, the surface itself. I'm going to add in two cups of Chinese rice wine. Add in also three tablespoons of oyster sauce. Now some of you might ask, isn't that too much for this? Will it be too salty? Um, I would say no, because we did not season the chicken stock, so we're doing this right now. One tablespoon of light soya sauce, as well as one tablespoon of dark soya sauce. Mix them up well. Put the lid on and let them come to a boil. Now that it's boiling, I will add in the buttered mushroom now. This is two cans of it. Now I'll stew this for 15 minutes before I add them into the stock. Cover it up. 15 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Smells really fantastic. We will add in 1 teaspoon of sugar, mix them up a little bit. And we are also going to add in 1 cup of Chinese cooking wine, Shao Xing Jiu. Stir it up a little bit. And we will add this whole thing to the chicken stock which we have prepared earlier on. This is the stock. I've already removed the chicken feet, the ginger, the garlic, as well as the peppercorn. So I'm going to put the chicken that we fried earlier on inside this. 
Be careful when you do this. Pour in the liquid first so that it won't splash too much. I'm going to boil this for another 20 minutes to get the chicken more tender. So I'll put the cover back on. In the meantime, we'll fry some eggs. I'll show you how we do this sesame seed oil egg. In a pan, put in approximately 2 tablespoons of sesame oil, a few slices of ginger. I'm going to flavor this oil with ginger. Hence, I'm doing this first. As you can see, it's not bubbling right now. The reason why I'm doing this is so that the ginger or rather the oil will not get too bitter. Cold pan, cold oil. Just move them around. It smells really good. I always love the smell of ginger and sesame seed oil. It's very comforting. You see that the ginger is browning. You can take out the ginger now. This oil is now infused with the ginger and it smells really 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 good. I'm just going to pour an egg in. Now that the soup is boiling, I'll cook the miso individually. The reason why I like to do so is because I don't want to put everything in because some I eat earlier and some I eat later. So the texture will be good if you can cook them individually. So take about four to five scoops of soup plus some mushrooms as well as the chicken. Whichever part you fancy. I'm going to use this with a big piece of this Thai meat. Now that the soup is boiling, I'll add in two pieces of the miso. Depending on how is your appetite like, if you're a big eater, two pieces will be good. If you're a light eater, then just one piece will be fine. I like a little bit of wolf berries or so, so now is the time to put them in. So once the miso is soft, you can serve them up. This take a few minutes. If you like your soup to be heavier in the Chinese wine taste, you can always add in another tablespoon or so. But if not, this will be just nice. So once it's cooked, you can serve this. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our Chinese ginger wine chicken miso. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.